Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about treatment of hormone receptor positive breast cancer. I'll describe what that means, talk about the different treatments that are specific to this type of cancer. Before I go on, I'd love to have you subscribe. We are always putting out new content. There's always something new to watch. And don't forget to go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. So what is hormone receptor positive breast cancer? Most breast cancer has the estrogen and or progesterone receptor, and these are hormone receptors. You can check out our video about hormone receptors in breast cancer. These are proteins that are expressed in the cell, and if you think about them as a place that hormones can sit, these tumors have this receptor and can be stimulated by estrogen and progesterone, and conversely, affecting those receptors, either by blocking them or by decreasing estrogen in the body, we can see responses to treatment. We have lots of you in the comments who are talking about having advanced breast cancer and being in remission because you're on endocrine therapy. So thanks for sharing those stories. In early stage disease, it's a little harder to see the benefit because we don't get to watch the tumor shrink. But we have studies with thousands and thousands and thousands of people who've enrolled in clinical trials, and that's how we know hormonal therapies work in people with early stage breast cancer, meaning the cancer hasn't spread. So hormonal therapy really is the cornerstone of treatment of hormone receptor positive breast cancer. And by that I mean tumors that have the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, or both. So ER is estrogen receptor, PR is progesterone receptor, and sometimes you'll hear us say ERPR positive, that's what we're referring to, or just the basket term, hormone receptor positive. So the mainstay of therapy, as I mentioned, is hormonal therapy. We have lots of videos about the aromatase inhibitors. We have a video about tamoxifen, and we have a video about the estrogen receptor disruptors or downregulators as well. Check those out to learn more and learn about the side effects and how to manage those. Hormone receptor positive breast cancer is treated with hormonal therapy for years. And the reason we do that is because number one, we know it works better than being on it for a short time, but also because tumor cells in hormone receptor breast cancer tend to stay quiescent for a long time and meaning sleepy or dormant for a long time. And we wanna make sure those cells, if present at all, are exposed to hormonal therapy. We also use targeted therapy in hormone receptor breast cancer, like the CDK4-6 inhibitors. Check out our video on those. And that's used in combination with hormonal therapy for people with advanced breast cancer and for some people with high risk early stage breast cancer. If people have higher risk features, like higher stage disease, or they have other features of the tumor, like HER2 positive tumors, check out our video on HER2, we will use HER2 targeted therapy along with chemotherapy. At this point in early stage disease, we don't give just targeted therapy itself, it's always combined with chemotherapy, or in the case of CD4-6 inhibitors with endocrine therapy chemotherapy and targeted therapy are given to people, as I mentioned, with higher risk disease. And while they're not as dramatic in terms of the response of reducing recurrence as is hormonal therapy, can be very effective in higher risk people. And it's really not the people who are high risk, right? It's the tumors that are high risk. So I'm gonna just review all of that. Endocrine therapy or hormonal therapy, not the same as hormone replacement therapy and then sometimes the CD4K6 inhibitors, uh, targeted therapy like therapy directed against the HER2 oncogene or oncoprotein, and then chemotherapy along with, uh, pre that's followed by hormonal therapy and sometimes paired with anti-HER2 directed therapy. 
genomic assays can be useful to see is there an added benefit of chemotherapy in people with hormone receptor positive disease that's also HER2 negative. So genomic assays can be done to help guide therapy even further than just the stage and the other features of the tumor. Check out our video on genomic assays in breast cancer. I've covered a lot. I hope this has been helpful. Just to reiterate, in addition to surgery and radiation therapy, those, are, those decisions are made independent of hormone receptor status. There's hormonal therapy, targeted therapies, anti-HER2 therapy, and chemotherapy as well. Genomic assays can help decide the benefit of chemotherapy in people with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to go to yerba.com for your personalized report. You'll learn about the treatments that might be offered in your specific case. Thank you so much for watching.